Okay, today I've, uh, I'm have i going to show you how to repair your supers so you get a longer life out of them. What I did is I've taken all the nails out of it, took the box apart, cleaning each joint with my scraper. And while I've got it apart, I'm going to go ahead and scrape the paint off the back side. Okay, now I've got a little wire brush here I'm going to run over to get any fine pieces of paint off. Taking care of your supers, you'll get a much longer life out of them. The weather just beats them to death. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that one there, so I'm going to go on to the next one. You can see I've got one here that was busted long ways. I've clamped it, or taken it apart, cleaned it real good, bonded it back together with some tight bond that's been clamped for about two hours now. So it's almost ready to come back apart so I can glue this back together. That one's clean, go on to the next one. You want to make sure you get the end joints really clean. So the glue will have something to tack to. And you can see I'm just using my hive tool. It's really sharp. It does a great job. Okay, I've put one nail over on each side to hold the ends on. Just temporarily. I'll go back and put more in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on the other side, get all the joints glued up, ready for reassembly. Like I say, the excess glue will squirt out around the seams, so you can put a nice damp cloth and clean all the glue up. So, just want to make sure you have glue everywhere you need it. Very important. Tight bonds a good exterior wood glue. Holds up good to the weather. Okay, now before I go back and put all the nails in, I'm going to clean up this extra glue. I usually just use a dry rag. Is it just filling cracks and what the hell? Let it fill in the cracks. And another very important thing before you get crazy putting nails in is you want to make sure you got it good and square. And after you got it to where it's good and square. Doesn't hurt to check it each time. Make sure it hasn't moved. Okay, now we're gonna 
get ready to paint these and what I like to do is just stack them all up and you just coat the whole area and you ain't got to worry about getting the seams. So we'll work our way around this. I got a good 12 year warranty latex semi gloss house and trim paint here. Okay, I'm putting on one coat. I think this paint is good enough to just get by with one coat. You can see how well it covers. I put it on thick, in all the crevices and cracks. Okay, the paint on these made a major difference. 